This video is brought to you by True Tales of Buried Treasure, the largest collection of old treasure magazines in the West. On our website, you can search for individual treasure stories by region or buy our original magazines themselves. To pay us a visit, please click on the link in the description. Enjoy. Does a hidden trove of gold concealed within the depths of Shuswap Lake's 700-mile shoreline exist? As per the ancient Indian legends, which have been proven time and again to hold a remarkable accuracy, a grand cave stretches for miles, shrouded in mystery and abundant with precious gold. Native miners from bygone eras once toiled within its confines, unearthing the riches that lay within. The clues to this enigmatic treasure are few and far between. It is believed that the entrance to the cave lies at the mouth of one of the rivers that flow into Shuswap Lake. But let us start at the very beginning. Many years ago, a settler known as R. Roberts shared the story of this magnificent cave. It was said to have been disclosed to him by a fellow homesteader in the area, just before the outbreak of World War I. Roberts, driven by curiosity, embarked on a perilous journey to find the cave's entrance. Armed with nothing but candles, he cautiously ventured into the labyrinthine passageways. Fearful of losing his way in the underground maze, Roberts limited his exploration to the immediate vicinity. Yet, even in that short time, he discovered signs that hinted at the cave's vast extent. He spoke of hearing the deafening roar of a mighty waterfall and the rush of a river hidden in the darkness. Having glimpsed the wonders within, Roberts concealed the entrance once more and departed. He pledged to guide others who possessed the proper equipment to explore the cave further. It remains unknown whether anyone took him up on his offer. Roberts himself disappeared from the scene, leaving behind only rumors of his lost cavern, now concealed by the accumulation of river silt and debris, and the enduring Indian legends of a subterranean river flowing with gleaming gold. To this day, the allure of Shuswap Cave lives on in the hearts of locals, as it holds the potential to be a treasure trove for its fortunate discoverer and a captivating tourist attraction. Another story about treasure that comes from Iowa is gold in Iowa. As the year 1853 dawned, many had their sights set on the high Rockies in search of their fortunes. Little did they know as they crossed the vast expanse of Iowa that the state held secrets beyond its fertile farmland. One such secret was discovered by John Ellsworth, a farmer who stumbled upon a small quantity of gold while tending to his fields. To Ellsworth's dismay, his discovery soon became the talk of the town, and word quickly spread across the country. As with most things, the tale of his find grew more extravagant with each retelling. Before long, hundreds of fortune seekers had descended upon his farm in search of riches. The townsfolk of Eldora, situated just north of Ellsworth's farm, tried to dissuade the gold hunters, insisting that the amount of gold found was meager and not worth the effort. But their warnings went unheeded, and the search continued. Though the initial excitement eventually subsided, it was rekindled in 1857 by a man named Ohm Holcomb, who claimed to have found gold while prospecting along the Iowa River. But like Ellsworth before him, Holcomb's discovery yielded only small amounts of gold for the effort expended. Years passed, and the fever for gold lay dormant until 1877, when specks of gold were spotted on the black sandbanks of the Iowa River, seven miles upstream from Eldora. To this day, it is said that glacial gold can still be found in the area for those willing to put in the effort. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to read the original article or purchase the magazine from which it was taken, please check out our website, truetalesofburiedtreasure.com.